You know those things that tell the world you made it through high school? You're about to graduate and take on the world? No, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Maybe if someone had some visual evidence. You mean like a picture? How about a picture? Wearing a graduation cap and gown? Seniors! Your cap and gown pictures and proof are here in the main office. We've got Jackson in the studio today. Hi there. TJ, I made a promise to you, and it starts this week. That's right, I'm going around cash apping people if they can answer simple questions. And since it's March, I decided to do a review for Black History Month. So, welcome to your first episode of Black Facts with Jack. Roscoe's chicken. I don't know. <laughs> Roscoe's chicken. Tenders. Roscoe's chicken. Sandwiches. This man found more than a hundred uses for the peanut. Peanut? Yeah. Peanut butter. Gifts smooth. <laughs> uh, Mr. Planters. Finish the proverb. It takes a village to raise a kid, to raise a child, to make one, to make a city. So close to giving cash away. So be ready, be ready, because I'm looking for you, TJ. And if I find you in the hallway and ask you some questions, you'll get money if you get them right. But if you don't, it'll be very clear that you don't know Jack, son. Let's hear it from Admin and Jewish Club. Hey, TJ, Pool here. We were looking for the admin and we couldn't find any, so I sat behind Pool's desk. Happy Friday. Here's, here's what I gotta say. Last time I was on the show, I was talking about, you gotta get good grades. I'm like, you don't gotta get good grades, but if you wanna succeed in high school, like, maybe, get better grades than you have right now um and then spring break's coming up so make sure you're studying and all that uh yeah so w what else we gotta talk about sats ap tests those are coming up make make sure you're studying for those um that's all i got for today tj pull out good morning it's mr pool the real mr pool uh, just quick heads up, YMOP, Young Men of Purpose. Today, uh, you guys are going to be in Scott Thomas's room, uh, as opposed to room 111. We have the vision and hearing screening going on in there. So, Scott Thomas's room uh, for YMOP. Thank you, TJ. Have a good day. Hey, TJ. It's Lucy with Jewish Student Connection Club. We have a meeting today at lunch in Miss Wilson's room, and we're going to be celebrating Purim, which was yesterday, which is a super fun holiday that we're going to get to talk about. So make sure you're there. There's going to be free pizza, as always, in Miss Wilson's room at lunch. Thanks, TJ. MSA, remember, next Friday you will be making tie-dye club t-shirts on Friday. Remember, it's on Friday. Remember to bring your 100% cotton t-shirts and design on Friday in room 118. Now for sports and news. Hi, I'm Derek. Uh, oh. March Madness! It's Keegan uh, and Andy for the final time this week. You're going to miss us, and you don't lie, you're going to miss us. Uh, we are funny dudes, it's okay, don't be upset. It's okay to mourn, we'll be back. Uh, 16 basketball games were played yesterday, and we had a few bracket busters. Also, sadly, CSU did not go far at all. Kentucky, number two seed, lost, lol, to St. Peter's. Oh boy, oh boy, am I mad. Also, the Hawkeyes lost to the Spiders. I don't like Iowa anyways. Um, and we got heck of more games to play today. Speaking of games, we got some TJ games today, or we're supposed to. Baseball has a game today against Pueblo East at the University of Colorado Springs. Wish them luck and, and uh, they're going to catch a dub. There's also a JV game against Douglas County at TJ at 4. 
My favorite sport, girls soccer, has a game against Yevlin at Lakewood Memorial at 5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a girls tennis match versus Sand Creek at TJ at Foe also. Some in dive, uh, boys varsity invitational versus, or it's to be decided at, versus who, oh my god. It's to be decided who it's against. Uh, and it's at Veterans Memorial Aquatic Center. And there may or may not be a varsity lacrosse game here at TJ at Foe against Prairie View. Uh, the snow is covering the field, so we can't play until it melts. If we did play uh, this game, we would win and MVP Bruno Miller would be putting up seven hat tricks in the first half. Bye. Bye. Ah! Ah! Hey TJ, it's Charlotte from Girls Varsity Soccer. Uh, we have a game today against Evelyn at Lakewood Memorial Stadium. I believe it's at 5, so wish your girls luck in the halls. We have a varsity lacrosse game here at TJ at 4 if the snow melts. Because uh, the snow is covering the field and we can't shovel it because we're not supposed to. So if it doesn't melt, we don't have a game. But we're still wearing our jerseys. So wish us luck. Hey TJ, Girls Tennis has a match today at Denver Tennis Park against Sand Creek High School. If you can come, then please support, and if not, then say good luck in the halls. Thank you. Happy Friday, TJ. It's your favorite news anchors. M Dog and K Drizzle. Back with the news for the last time this week. Yo, please tell me we're ending this week with some good news. Oh, we actually do have some great news this morning. Recently, a ship that sunk back in 1857 has been uncovered, along with valuable treasures inside. The ship set off with 425 passengers and, mo and the most gold that had ever been reported to be carried on board across the ocean. The ship did unfortunately sink, but prior to the setting off, family members took photos of all the passengers. And when uncovered by scientists nearly two miles under sea on the co coast of South Carolina, these photos were able to be uncovered and restored. It's been reported to be a once-in-a-lifetime chance to see faces from the deep, almost as if they're here with you. That's absolutely wild. It's so great to see it, parts of history being uncovered. Hey Kendall, are you excited for Pete Davidson's space tour? Oh yeah, I can't wait. Well, unfortunately, Pete Davidson will be keeping his feet firmly on the ground after giving up his spot on Jeff Bezos' upcoming Blue Origin flight into outer space amid his ongoing, very public feud with rapper Kanye West. Wow, what a shame. Davidson had been due to embark on his first trip into outer space aboard the Blue Origin's New Shepard rocket on March 23rd. However, a tweet posted by the space company's official Twitter account on Thursday evening revealed that the trip has been moved to March 29th and that the comedian will no longer be on board. The tweet led to a number of responses, including one from actor Cal Penn, who simply sent a happy man raising one hand emoji, seemingly volunteering to take Davidson's place. Wait, who? Cal Penn. Who cares about Cal Penn? Anyways, that's all we got for the news today. Deuces, TJ! <laughs> for the last time, TJ. Deuces. I want to learn more about volleyball. Let's talk to Randy. Oh, hey, what's up? You want to tell us about volleyball? The volleyball tournament is today, 6 p.m. after school on Friday. Make sure you get your teams together. I think the form is still open, so do that before lunch. You have to pay at lunch, and if you don't pay at lunch, you have to talk to Mr. Thompson or Mr. Poole after school to arrange another payment or whatever. Make sure you're there or you're a big old square, TJ. It's going to be fun. Let's have fun before the year's over. Deuces. Hey, what's going on, Ms. Gleason, Ms. Kennedy, class sponsors for 2022? We're here to just remind all the seniors that today is the last day to vote for our prom date. So as you know, um, we're going to do a Google form, one vote per person. It's available in the senior class, Schoology, the Future Center Schoology. And it was also sent out yesterday in your class remind. And some things we are considering for each date. So April 23rd is during the month of Ramadan, and so our Muslim students may not be able to attend on that date. Also, some other things we are considering with that date is Spartanpalooza, the after prom, will be that Sunday, the 24th, and all of our sports events are canceled on that date. And Friday, no school. Um, and Friday, there's no school. For yes, seniors. For seniors. Um, May 7th, what we're considering is that is after Ramadan has concluded, so all students can attend. It's in the middle of AP testing and our sports events cannot be moved. So just keep those things in mind as you're voting. And if you want or have questions, if you want clarification or have questions, come see us in counseling. Awesome. Thank you. We're looking forward to prom either way. Two, two. Oh. What is in your pockets right now? Uh, 
pieces of napkins. What do you have in your pockets right now? Um, generally, I just carry like rolls of like hundreds. Proof? Uh, no, I'm smarter than that. All right, Nick, back again. Yeah. What's in your pockets? Got my AirPods, car keys, lip balm. Anything else? No. All right, thank you. What do you have in your pockets right now? In my pockets right now? Yeah. Um, I got my phone and what else? Oh, and a pencil. Yeah. Always prepared. Always. What is in your pockets right now? Uh, my ID and keys and my phone and then my wallet's my other pocket. What do you have in your pockets right now? Three pennies. You're that broke? Yes, I am. Living on teacher salary? DPS. <laughs> what do you have in your pockets right this second? Nada. Nothing at all? Nada. My phone. That, that's something. Okay. Thank you. Savannah, what's in your pockets right now? Uh, I have food and my phone. Hey, the essentials. What's in your pockets right now? AirPods. Dead AirPods. <laughs> Just the AirPods? No case? Case. I don't know. I lost it. What's in your pockets right now? What's in my pockets? Like every pocket? Yeah, all of them. Uh, my wallet. Thank you.